But there was definitely fuel for the fire today. We had uh, the, the Kurdistan regional government cut a deal with Baghdad to increase their exports. We have a report that North Sea oil output is going to surge 11.5 percent higher uh, in December. And uh, we just keep, you know, in the U.S. oil production surging above 9.9 million barrels a day here for the first time in almost 30 years. It's just oil is coming at this market left, right and center. Is it going to kill the U.S. shale boom? I don't think so, Brian. I think they're going to prove to be a lot more resilient than people uh, people thought. Although prices do continue to fall down into the 50s, that's when it'll really bite. But I think until then, uh, they're going to hang in there. And, and no, I, I think this a lot of this uh, production is here to stay for quite some time. How much of this slide was uh, precipitated, John, by yesterday when Ali Al Naimi, the Saudi Arabian oil minister, finally broke his silence and really didn't come out swinging? You know, really didn't come out with any strong statements to support the price or any indication they're going to back a, a production cut and basically just said, it's, it's not us that sets the price, it's the market. That's right. That was a big catalyst, Mandy. I mean, he, he came out and just left us almost bewildered by what he was even trying to say. But what was clear that he didn't say was that they were prepared to cut and to stabilize the market. And, you know, that, that's what this market's doing to the cartel right now. They're forcing prices lower to induce a production response from them. And they're going to just torture OPEC until they do something. And we'll have, uh, of course, be greatly focused on see one of the most important OPEC meetings in years on Thanksgiving Day when they get together and try to sort this out. Yeah, I'm not going to throw water on it, John. It's a big story. I love paying less than more at the gas pump. But I will say this. We're at $40 a barrel six years ago. We've been at below 70 multiple times in the last five or six years. Why is this time different? Is it? I think it's different this time, Brian, because this time it's being driven by in, uh, an increase in supply, an oversupply to the global market. In the past, it was really generated by the financial crisis and economic slowdowns. And while we have a little bit of that this time around, the, the, the oil just keeps coming at us. The numbers just keep going up everywhere you look. Higher exports, record exports post-war for Iraq. Uh, you know, some countries like Nigeria and even Qatar being unable to sell their oil, it appears, uh, to, to any takers because they're being battled against by other members of OPEC and even U.S. supplies that are now heading from Alaska uh, to South Korea in particular. So the whole order of things is being upended here.